According to the nation's central bank, Korea recorded 2.7 percent growth last year, logging a slightly slower pace of expansion than what the government was hoping for. Shin Se-min shares with us a report card for Asia's fourth largest economy. The Korean economy grew 2.7 percent last year, shy of the government's 2.8 percent target. With it, the country's economy posted a growth below the 3 percent mark for two consecutive years. Private consumption is the main driver of Korea's economic growth at almost 50 percent. There was a significant on-quarter increase in facility investment, but slowing domestic demand from a 0.5 percent rise in the third quarter to 0.2 percent in the fourth affected the overall growth rate. The Bank of Korea said the growth was dragged down by a sharp drop in construction investment and a slowdown in private spending in the face of a developing political scandal that shook the nation to its core. And measures like the government's expansionary fiscal policy worth 9.7 billion U.S. dollars, a nationwide sales event in October, and temporary designated holidays in May and in June relatively garnered some degree of success in stimulating private spending. And experts say such government-initiated efforts will likely be necessary looking ahead this year, despite a projected pickup in exports, which are seeing signs of recovery, especially in key items like chips and display. This, as consumer spending, will also remain weak. Without an increase in wages, there will not be any boost in private consumption, and the wage issue is something that can only be resolved through improved conditions on the employment front, which is also facing difficulties. So all in all, things won't be easy this year without the government's extra help. Bracing for such concern, Korea's finance minister unveiled plans to stabilize the people's livelihoods by front-loading more than 30 percent of the government's 2017 budget, some 72 billion U.S. dollars in the first quarter, a method that it has relied on for the past couple of years. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.